Good day everyone. Welcome to Learn with MN. In this video, we will discuss the next tool, which is the Paint Bucket tool. The tool here with the bucket icon is the Paint Bucket tool. You can also select it via the shortcut key U. This tool is used to fill the bounding areas. If you have used the Paint software of Windows, you will have an idea of the Fill Color tool and how it works. This tool works the same as that but with more control and options. Just select the Paint Bucket tool, click on any bounded area, and it will fill the area with color, like this. When you fill any bounded area with the Bucket tool, it doesn't affect the original shape, but it creates a new filled path with the current fill color. You can move, transform, and edit them like other objects. When you click on any bounded area, the first step of the filling process is to identify the pixels that need to be filled. These pixels are then traced to produce a vectorized path. The tracing process has sometimes limited accuracy which can result in inaccuracies in the filled region, like this. You can improve the filling by zooming in. Zoom in on the region you are filling in, and then click on it. You can see the clear difference. Zooming in increases the number of screen pixels in the filled region which results in a more accurate tracing. With the bucket tool, you can also trace out the same color area of an image. For example, we have this image and we want to trace this black part of the image including these men. For this, click on this black area with the bucket tool, and you will get a trace of that area. If you zoom in, and then trace it with the bucket tool then it will give you a more accurate result as compared to the previous one, like this. Because of this feature, it is a very powerful tool and you can trace anything from any image in no time. Let's discuss different functions we can perform with key combinations using the bucket tool. A simple click on any area will create a new path. Each click will create a separate object that is not linked with the previous one. Control click changes the fill and stroke of the object to the current fill stroke selection. You can check for the current fill and stroke here at this corner. Shift click unions the new fill with the current selection, like this. With click and drag, you can fill multiple areas you touch with the red line, like this. This method also picks the stroke. If you want to skip the stroke, then hold the Alt key while dragging, and it will not fill the stroke, like this. Let's discuss different options for the Paint Bucket tool. The first option is Fill By. This option allows you to fill by using different color channels. By default, Visible Colors is selected. It fills every visible color with the currently selected fill without any restriction but you can define certain channels using this option. For example, if you select red, then it will only fill the areas with red channel colors, like this. It will not affect the other colors, even if you click on them. Similarly, is for blue, green, and other channels. For the alpha channel, it will fill the areas with the same opacity value, no matter which color it has. For example, these three circles have the same opacity value, so, if I click on it, it will fill all three circles excluding the overlapping part, as its opacity level gets changed because of overlap. Similarly, if I click here on this example, it will fill the first three circles, because they all have the same opacity, and these both have different values. This feature is very helpful in tracing any object with certain channel values. The next option is the threshold. The threshold parameter controls how close a color must match the color under the cursor. Its value ranges from 0 to 100. Lower thresholds will match a smaller range, and larger threshold values will fill the larger area. Let's take a look at the threshold effect on each example with different values. With a 5 value, it fills a very small area, like this, and as the value increases, its fill area gradually increases by clicking on the same spot, like this. The next option is Grow and Shrink. This option allows you to control the amount of inset or outset to be applied to the created fill path. In other words, you can control how much your filled path should be larger or smaller than the sample bounding area. 
A positive value will grow, and a negative value will shrink the created fill path. For example, if I set the value to 10, and click on this circle, then the resulting path will be like this. You can see, it is larger than the original object. And, if I set the value to minus 10, then the resulting path will be like this. You can also change the unit by which the path grows or shrinks from this drop-down menu. The next option is close gaps. Sometimes, some small breaks in lines are left while tracing any object. Because of these breaks, the bucket tool fill overflows and fills the undesired areas. To control this leakage, the close gaps option is used. With the close gaps parameter, you can ignore any gaps in the area boundaries that would normally cause the fill to overflow from the desired area. It has four values. None will not ignore any gap. Small will fill on gaps up to two screen pixels, like this. Or you can say where the gap is small. If small is not working, try for a medium. Medium fill gaps up to four screen pixels, like this. And large fill up to six screen pixels. One thing to note is that small, medium, and large works on screen pixels, so their result will be different on different screen zoom levels. This option prevents fills from leaking into undesired areas just because there is a small break. The last option is a reset button. This will reset all paint bucket tool parameters back to their default values. That was all about the paint bucket tool and its different options. If you have any queries, feel free to write in the comments section or contact us on our website or social media, their links are in the description. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon, so you don't miss any updates. Thank you for watching.